poet one. Do you like controversial figures of New Zealand politics? Well, I do. Let's talk about the guy who gave back in the politics this coming election cycle. Winnie P. So, let's jump into it. Um, it says we're going to be talking about the most fascinating political figure of our time. Winston Peters. I don't have a picture there, anyway. Peters is a veteran politician who has been a member of Parliament for 40 years, held numerous ministerial positions, and led several parties. He's known for his outspokenness because he's a fucking legend. Um, and I said that within the first minute, so I'm, I'm screwed. Uh-huh. And his commitment to certain people and ability to navigate the complex world of New Zealand politics. Winston's political career began in 1978, so Jesus Christ, almost 50 years ago now. That's why he's 70. But he's, he's older than my grandfather. He's almost older than my grandfather, so yeah, he's really old. When he was elected to the parliament as member of the National Party, he quickly showed himself a strong advocate for his constituent, constituents and was appointed to civil board committees in 1993 when both waves formed the uh, National Party, uh, New Zealand First, uh, yeah, which he helped, his brother helped, it was all paid by the government, so. <laughs> his party gained the spawned in 1996 elections when Peter was appointed, was appointed Deputy Prime Minister and Treasurer in the coalition government. Throughout his career, Winston Peters, should be our Prime Minister, <laughs> has been very critical of globalisation and free trade agreements. Arguing they have an inevitable impact on the Zealand economy, which means a lot of jobs going overseas, all the money going overseas to China, to America. Globalization is good, but until you have like no food, like we said, all dairy dairy products overseas, we send meat, milk, everything, ice cream, all goes overseas, which is frustrating because we pay. Sixteen dollars, eighteen dollars of cheese, which is how many? How many euros is that? It's ten, ten euros, which is I think it's a buck of cheese is like six euros. So yeah, it's in, it's in, in nine. It's a, a lot of money. So um. Yeah, and he needs a more cautious approach to immigration that benefits the country as a whole. By his controversial views, it's easy to be more popular than unions and like me because I love a good shit stirrer, as you like to say. I like a good person who challenges the norm. And um, yeah, when he didn't get in last time, I was a bit disappointed. I voted for, for all New Zealand first, everything. And, um, I guess I got let down. By my constituents. He's been re elected to Parliament several times, how new presented Foreign Minister, Minister of Racing, and Minister of Racing, and what do you call the Minister of Racing, of Racing and Minister of Racing, and I don't know. You tell me in the description below. So, in conclusion, he's a political legend, legend, um, New Zealand, known for his courage, conviction, and commitment to serving his constituents. Constituents and two Wongs that make a white, one of his famous sayings from the years gone by. He's been forced for change, um, good man, <laughs> yes. Um, challenging the status quo and advocating for the image of all New Zealanders and uh, white power. I mean, like grey power, which is all things, yes. Um, he loves talking to old people, he, yeah, that's how you talk to the birds, me. <laughs> Because there's other people like, oh, we not, don't really want this quite controversial investigation coming, which is a um, point, you know? When, when, when your country is one of the most expensive places to live in the world, when you have like, in the study of the top 25, there was something like six or so cities were in top 25 in the world, I think, expensive. Like Auckland, Wellington, uh, Dunedin, not Dunedin, or was it Christchurch? Was before the earthquake. <laughs> um, Queenstown. And even where I live, in my hometown of Fine Man. 
average house price is eight hundred thousand New Zealand. This net up from the pandemic was what two years before that was six hundred k, five hundred k. Over the space of what five years, it's gone up three hundred thousand dollars. And the population right now has gone up those so too. So it was moving on ultimately come up there, which I'm well, I'm only people like anyway. If you agree with his views or not, there's no denying Winston Peters as uh, a significant impact on the political landscape of New Zealand. Thank you for guys for watching. Um, I've rambled on a little bit today, and uh, yeah, like and subscribe for more context. Content, context, content, you know, take money. Um, yeah. Peace out. Uh, we have a new video coming tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And if you've got some suggestions, write them down in the comments below. And um, yeah, who's your most controversial person in the world? Robert McGavin, maybe. Maybe do one on that next. Peace out. Goodbye.